is there a single prompt that can power my other work? And I taught this last week, so we'll come back to it. And what happens when we connect the brain with the hands? Did you all see this? How many of you already know this? Now watch. Where's this? Montana. I'm supposed to be there. You can't get there except by horseback way back in a Blackfoot country in Montana, but I'm supposed to be there in two weeks on horseback. So I asked GPT, where is it? They couldn't tell me, but I said, what is it? Now look at this. Now remember, this isn't mid journey. It is describing the picture and it has implications for the conversion marketing of everybody on here. But how good is it really? Has anybody seen this before? Where would you park? What time? Is it safe to park there? Some smart aleck on Twitter took a picture of this sign in San Francisco, showed it to GPT. It's Wednesday at 4 p.m. Can you park in this spot right now? And GPT gave him the right answer. Do you understand what this means? I'm shivering inside and you should be. Now, uh, here's GTV. Yes, you can park there in one hour. Has anybody seen this? Does anybody know what this is? Where's Waldo? Yeah, I found him. This is GPT. Waldo is located near the center of the image. He is standing next to a table with various shoes on it. All of this is only good for the guild when we ask, what are the implications for marketing? And that's where I'd like to go next. Okay, let me show you this for everybody who might not be clear. I am clicking on chat GPT and it has this little piece right here, attach images. And now start to think about what we can do with conversion optim. Can you imagine what's about to happen in Mech Labs AI? Now we can see your page, your design, your layout, your columns, and let's not steal the whole of it. So I'll share more with you in just a moment. Please watch. I'm speaking to the guild right now, and I need to give them a message that will encourage them to continue studying artificial intelligence. What would you recommend I say, question mark? I think the audio is still loading, but this will speak back to you. And I can't even talk because it's going to take what I'm saying right now and think it's a response if I'm not careful. I never touch my mouse. I talk, it talks back, and we continue to dialogue. You might think, well, it doesn't really matter. It matters to the creative process. Did you hear me? One of the greatest ways to tap into deep creativity as you think about your value proposition, as you think about anything related to your offering, is to have this conversation with a genius. Now, how did I do that? By the way, I think what happened is I'm tying up the speaker so you can't hear it talking back to me right now. That's why this isn't going on. But this is called Talk to Chat GPT. It is a safe plugin. It's done by one developer. And you can go into the Chrome store or the Edge store. You can add it. And in moments, you can talk. And the voice sounds good. And I'll tell you something else. For those of you in the know, this is an advanced tip. In less than 10 minutes, you can go to 11 labs, get an API key, and come back and have access to all the different voices you want so that it talks to you in normal, conversational, powerful voices that seem as real as David Klein and I talking. You can't tell the difference. That's available now. And its implications are dramatic. So... With that in mind, let's talk about how somebody else is using this. I saw this on Twitter. What do they do here? They designed an entire product shoot using GP Tour with Vision. They showed the product, and then down here is the advice for every detail of the camera angles, etc. Here's another one. Wow. I don't even know what to say to this one. Watch. They pass that photo to GPT-4 Vision with this basic prompt to generate the code for it. Let me set this down. And I really want you to pay attention to this right here. So I've generated the code, I pasted that into VS code here, um, and now watch this. So you're gonna see step one here is enter your name. Check out the, the, the diagram here. So the model was able to see that I had these arrows and it actually flipped the order of these and I wanted to test if it could do that. And sure enough, it does. Now if I do um, a name here, sorry, I'm trying to type with one hand. And you're gonna see, what is your email McKay? Okay. You're gonna see in this step, I specify it should refer to you by name once provided. So it, <laughs> it flipped these steps. So it knew name, then email. And it knew once it got to email, it needed to refer to me by name. This is crazy. This is all on image. Um, I'm just gonna put some fake stuff here. You're gonna see, we now, it's now asking us to confirm if we're over 18 or not, still referring to me by name. You're gonna see, I split that here. Um, so one branch goes up here to show the site. The other goes to um, the second option here. And you're going to see I crossed sorry screen and instead put kid version. And you're going to see I'm going to click no. And we're getting welcome to the kid version of the site. 
I could continue. I don't think I need to. How many of you remember 210 days before GPT when we said this stuff was coming? Do you remember? It's not coming. It's here. I'm not done. Watch this. I gave the new GPT-4 vision model this screenshot of a SAS dashboard, and I asked it basically to break this down into components and write all the code. So I went through all the files, I pasted all the code in, right, all this code here, and out came this. This was a first pass, which was uh, pretty remarkable here. I'm actually zoomed out just a little bit so you could see the full thing, but um, you can see this was the actual screen grab here um, from a design on Drupal, so shout out this guy. But um, if I go back up to 75% here, you can see there's a lot of things it gets right that are pretty impressive just from that screenshot. So let's go side to side really quick because I actually want to um, kind of compare these against each other. Okay, so on the right here, you can see we've got um, sort of this menu here with all of these drop down we'll pause these, here. Uh, menu options. And I just want you to understand what just happened. We showed it a website, a dashboard. We showed it an active, you know, a dashboard's more than a website. It looked at it, wrote the code and duplicate. Now folks, I'm gonna tell you right now, you gotta temper your enthusiasm. I am not saying it works perfect. It's not good with people. We already know that. I saw a picture of a woman with three legs and it didn't detect that, but it just launched. If you say right now, oh, it's still not working perfect. You just buried yourself while your competitors are figured out. They're gonna start using, implying and be ready to use it in a more powerful way while you find problems. Don't find problems, find ways to use it. Now we're going to get to our stuff in a more practical way. So how can we leverage this capability in the guild? Brad Horan built this ad. What you need to see is I fed that visual and this single prompt without adding our methodology. Now, Brad, you could go right now and grab a Mech Labs methodology piece and include it in your prompt. Do you understand that? Does everybody understand that? Do you understand that if you don't input MechLab's methodology, you're not getting the quality output and you can integrate that with your prompt. And I'm going to show you how in a minute. But first, here's the reply. Honestly, Brad, you should take some of this advice. Look at this. Consider having a split image, the current distressed image on the side and a content relieved version of the same person on the other. That's a great idea. I never thought of that. Doesn't mean you need to use it, but it's generative and it's rich. It's not just almost stuff, guys. I know we've seen a lot of that. This is valuable advice. It'd be much more valuable if we include the methodology from all the experiments. How many of you right now, though, can imagine how you might use this visual piece to get some fresh thinking about your ads, the top of your web page, everything? Two, let's all open up GPT right now. This one I will share and we will try. You can do it with me and it will be practical. The outputs might be good for you. You might want to use your web page, but you might want to pick a competitor's and I'm going to show you exactly what to do. Okay. So when you have it open, I capture the full page. Boom. Copy it. This is not the page. This is the, the image. I can draw on it or whatever, but I'm just going to copy it. I'm done. Now I take the copy and I go over to chat GPT and now I can paste that image into GPT and now I can apply methodology and questions and tactics to discover new ways to think and see. With that in mind, let me show you what I did. I used something I taught last week. If you weren't here, watch the briefing, but I will show you. I used the ultimate prompt. There's the prep. All you need to do is answer these five questions and then you paste. You paste all this, you don't worry about it. You paste it and you just fill in these yellow blanks. I know some of you are thinking, I'm not sure I follow this, but it wouldn't be fair to everybody here to teach it again. It's in last week's briefing, but it must be brought into here because it's so important as a way to get more value out of your prompting. So now watch, I took that same prompt, pasted it right here, with the filled in. You are the best in the world. What's the agent? At Conversion Optimization Consultant. I am working on this, improving this web page. Help me accomplish this task. Analyze this page, identifying every instance of friction or anxiety, weighing the negative factors against the positive factors, such as the value proposition. I just want people to understand that you can put anything in these blanks per the prompt sample I shared with you. And now it's going to take MechLab's methodology. It's going to attack it. It's going to control your outputs. It's going to give you commands to improve the answer. When I did this with Kate, I'm pretty impressed. Look at it, Kate. And then it ends by saying this prompt has been optimized with the following heuristic and gives you the command you can use. So now I hit expand, Kate. See the command expand? What does it mean? It means provide much more detail and analysis. See it? So expand. Certainly. Here's a more detailed analysis of the harmonic animator product. Oh, this is the harmonic animator product I did this for. And that's Patrick Morton. And look, on it goes, building out in more depth and detail. Folks, you can do this right now. And many of you have clients. Unbelievable. 
unbelievable how you could blow a client away right now. My goodness, if you are still serving clients now like you served them before, you're in the dark and you're in trouble. It amazes me at what a one-person shop could produce in value now.